Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What did I have planned for today is to show how to skin a queen palm. All right, let's get to it. Before I start to skin the palm, I just wanted to go over a couple of things about um, the structure of it. So right here you have the main stem and these rings here are leaf scars. Now if you go up, I'll show you what the leaf is. This whole section right here, if you take it all the way to the ends, where you have these leaf tips, and this outside edge is a leaf margin, these little um, pieces right here are considered leaflets. And this section here is a rachis. And if you follow it further, this section from here to here is called the petiole. Now, if you go further into that, what you'll see are the leaf basis or a sheath. So each leaf is created in that same way. That's one whole leaf. So that's what you have for leaf structure, a leaf scar. And now if you go to the very top up here, it may be hard to see, right up here in the center, you'll have a terminal bud. And that's the newest growth in, in a palm tree. So when you're skinning palms, the idea for skinning is to protect the upper part of the um, the trunk so if so what, what you do in skinning you're gonna get a knife and you'll clean all this out and take these um, leaf bases off but it's important to know that what you don't want to do is to take all these off so close to the terminal because what happens when you go so close to the terminal the tree can decrease in girth so a palm tree is a lot different than a than a regular broadleaf a palm tree it'll create its girth at that terminal point. And if you take the sheaths off too soon, then what happens is the growth will decrease and get narrow and narrow. And sometimes you can even kill your palm. Um, good rule of thumb is to stay maybe three feet down from the terminal. All right, so we'll get to the skinning. Here's a tool that I'm gonna use for skinning. It's just a regular utility knife with a razor. What's really nice is when they get dull, you can just change out the razor. Um, I added just a little clip so I can hang it onto my belt if I need to. Um, basically what you're doing is if you look where the scale, I mean the scar, the leaf scar is. So here, well that was an old one. So here's, if you come to this side here, you see this little piece right here. It's these fibers that are connected to the tree. So with this razor knife, what you're going to do is you're going to slice those fibers. So you want to do that on, on when you're doing this. You're just going to be looking at these fibers, right? You're just going to keep on running. You're going to try to get those fibers throughout the... And you're doing it enough. It's a little easier when you got a full petio on it because you have a leverage to grip it. There you go. And you're really not trying to go too deep into the tree. What you're trying to do... So right here. There you go. And you're slicing these pieces off. You're not really trying to go deep into the trunk, but more just getting those fibers. So um, as I'm ready to start skinning here, I've noticed that there's some um, leaf bases that have been cut really short. So what I'm gonna do is with my, my pull saw, I'm gonna pull it to help separate it apart a little. And sometimes they, they may even fall off. So I'm gonna go around. All right, yeah, see, I think I'm good now. All right, cool. So now the next one I'll do is I'll work on this. I'll pull it. And it falls right off. Now the way they're the way they're shaped, they kind of just one over the other. That's why they stay on so well. But once you start breaking them apart, sometimes they come off fairly fairly simple. You work on the outside edges. I 
I don't want to just rip that one off because the less ripping into the trunk the better. Now I'll grab the razor knife and see if I can slice this up a little. Next, I'll set up on the ladder. Now that I've done quite a bit from the ground, I'm gonna go up a little higher and start working on the bases in the ladder. I'll grab this handle here, and it comes, see how it kinda comes out freely? And now, do some slicing, and I'll pull this I'm gonna move my ladder. Now that I've moved the ladder, I'm gonna work more on this side of the tree. And I'll continue doing exactly the same thing that I was doing. Well, that was amazing. So as I'm doing this, you're kind of going in layers. It can be kind of easy if, if you grab the right prawn, pulling off some of the sheath. side over there. Alright, All right, now I'm going to move my ladder to that side where it's kind of caught in and I can't really reach it with my razor. Now if you were on spikes you would probably just um, go all the way around the tree. Some people don't appreciate spike marks on their palms. So doing it with a ladder and so you might move your ladder few different times unless you could reach around it let's cut some of the fibers notice that as I'm cutting out not really Cutting too deep into the bark, just kind of grazing it. I don't really want to cut way, way deep into the bark. So move the ladder and I'll go to the next front over there. I'll move the ladder to the opposite side of the tree to continue the same pattern. My angle is not so good. do just a little bit of these lower rings kind of clean them up a little bit just so they're a little bit nicer looking kind of time consuming now for me I don't feel like I want to go any higher in skinning this like I like to leave enough space 
for the tree to grow in a natural way. I don't want to turn one of these into a, a bottleneck palm. Some of the older ones. And it's, it's better if you, say you got something even small like this, not to yank it and rip it down because sometimes you can rip into the trunk. Better to cut it clean or maybe go side to side if, if it has like a little bit of a handle. Well, there you go. This method with using a utility knife and a razor and pulling the fronds off, that's a way that I've done uh, skinning queen palms. Um, I want to mention again that it's important not to go too far up to the terminal. I could probably take a few more off of here, but I'd rather let the tree have a little bit more uh, protection. If you do skinning and you're skinning and you notice that you get into nice, um, fresh, green looking petioles, you may want to stop. You probably don't want to go past that. It's not bad having some dead ones to protect the terminal. That way the trunk can grow in girth and then you'll have this nice looking thick trunk all the way up until, I mean, these trees can reach up to like 60 feet tall and maybe even higher. If you, you take too much of those petioles off, then it'll de do something called bottlenecking and the trunk will start to get um, decrease in size and then even leaves will kind of decrease and in time you might not have a palm. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. Take care. We'll see you next time.